crazy buzz fishing. Just did a live. I don't know what I did to mess it up. I gotta get better at my lives apparently. Anyways, <laughs> gotta get better at my life. Anyways, <laughs> tournament morning. We got two minutes until actual start time, so I'll keep this quick. Um, just wanted to say good luck to everybody. And what I was saying in my live before I kicked it offline somehow was, you know, remember today's about having fun, guys. I know some of you family members are going to be fishing together. You're going to, some of you guys are going to have three in a boat. Just remember, it's about having fun and about getting out and fishing together. Uh, the tournament itself is a byproduct. Going to be a lot of boats on the water. Patience is going to be key. Just remember that, guys, and have a good time. I mean, we're that's why we all do this is the love of fishing, not because we hate it and get out and have to do it. It's something we want to do. So anyways, I just wanted to say that. I get, uh, like, this morning just getting in the lake and headed over here and through the buoys and all the construction that's going on under the bridge. It's just, it's gets a little frustrating, and you got to just remember, at least I do, put it in all in perspective that we're out here to have a good time. Anyways, guys, thank you for all the subscribe, new subscribers and all the old subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the likes. Really appreciate you guys coming along on this journey. And I really appreciate giving out the information and talking to you guys and everybody else. Now, I know there's a few that I missed, and I know there's a couple that came back for more weight points that I didn't get to last night. I was working till late getting this thing ready for my deal with the city that I have to go to today. I've got to be off the water about 8, and then I'll be back after my meeting down there. Anyways, guys, have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon. Let's go fishing. Man, oh man. Here we go, he ain't bad. We'll see what he weighs.
thank you. Appreciate that. We're from Chicago. You're from Chicago? Yeah. Wow, are you guys fishing this tournament this weekend? Yes, sir. Okay. The rock crawler bite seems to be coming back on though, so that's a good thing. Not a small one so far, nothing that really weigh yet. I just had about a six up to the boat right there. You'll see it on the video. It's just nice. just came off. Um, you know, the I went back up in this creek and I caught a couple of dinks. So they're still this. These, so the females are moved into these secondary points now. I saw that. I was man. It's just. I can't believe I was about a week short last week that, and then this cold front, but hopefully tomorrow the wind's supposed to blow a little bit, about 10, and we're warming up. We're going to stay warm through the night, so we might do pretty well tomorrow. aren't very good. You gotta have the red ones, dude. These are the bombs. Yeah, they are. They're, they're badass. The green ones suck. Shit, I would have taken you up all the way, but I forgot my damn oh. key. Hey guys, Jason Reichert, Crazy Blessed Fishing. Calling it for tomorrow, just like the great Bambino. Babe Ruth, in case you, maybe that's a little old. Anyways, you know that's even old for me. Anyways, I digress. So, tomorrow I'm calling it. Six plus pound going to weigh in before the end of the day. Um, had right out of three today. For the last weigh in didn't make it to weigh in um got sidetracked i'll show you in the video what i got sidetracked with so today is friday april 5th first day of the big bass tour um greg the other boat that i was boating with um he was doing his stuff on one side like i was doing my other we were talking on the phone um he weighed in one fish got on the board had another fish, to, another weighable fish, didn't end up taking it in. Um, learning, learning the lake after the cold front, basically is what today was about. It didn't help that I had to get off the water at eight. Um, had a emergency meeting with the city of Branson, so I had to go down there and didn't get back on the water until about 11. And then it was just downhill from there and just decided to go and see what we could do and have a good day on the water. Ended up being a great day on the water. So, what I was doing, throwing a rock crawler, throwing a jerk bait, throwing a spinner bait, throwing a wacky wig worm. Um, I pretty much threw the tackle box at him today. Did catch, like I say, one weighable fish, didn't take him in. I was doing something else. And you'll see, in, I guess I did the video before this. So, as you saw in the video, lost a big one at the boat. My own fault. Slack lined him as I was going down to get the net. That makes two times that I've done that and lost fish, three times that I've done it, and three consecutive fish. I don't know why I'm doing that. Can't tell you. Just got to stop. So we all have bad habits every once in a while that you get into, and I'm going to break that one come tomorrow. Anyways, guys, as you saw in the video, um, only three fish today made it into the boat. Two were dinks. One was a weighable fish, as I said. And then the other one that got up to the boat that was actually a decent fish. It would have been, it would have been over six. Um, I haven't edited the video yet. That's why I'm not 100% sure that you see it on the video. But I'm pretty sure you can. I'm going to do my best to where when he turns to the boat, you can see it. Because, yeah, it was a nice fish. Um, anyways, guys, that's all I've really got for you. Um, I am going to tell you it's on the rock crawler bite. Still, chunk rock. Um, still fished a lot of 45 degree banks doing that and like I said did pick up one fish um, 
that's about it guys i don't know i'm really excited about this tournament the way it's going to shake out tomorrow and sunday two more days left we're just getting started heavy fish was i don't have my phone on me i think it was five two eight or something it's not that big of a fish i mean it's nothing that you guys haven't seen me put in the boat before so it's totally totally anybody's game right now a lot of the guys that usually are turning in five plus pound fish didn't turn in five plus pound fish so uh it's anybody's game right now tomorrow we got some wind we got clear skies gonna stay warm tonight shouldn't have that fog on the on the water the, in the morning um super 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 excited about this tomorrow also guys i love talking to you guys on the water um I wish I would have got to talk to the guys at the end of the day a little bit more, but we were loading up boats and we all had to be off the water and, you know, it just doesn't happen. But I got to chat with a couple from Chicago, I think is where they said they were from. Anyways, that was pretty cool. Enjoyed that. Um, you know, and thank you guys so much for subscribing last week. I think last week we had a hundred something subscribers and good job on hitting the like button. You guys are getting, getting good at hitting the like button. Love that. Um, oh, by the way, I watched a video from a guy fishing with Eddie. Go check out his YouTube page. He um, had his daughter on the water for a tournament, and she catches, a, a I think it was a 3.8. And, oh, it was just, it was awesome. It was awesome to see her doing the fish dance. It's worth it to go see the fish dance. Um, so go check him out. It was, it was pretty interesting. Anyways, guys, we'll bring you along tomorrow. I'll try and do a live in the morning. I did one this morning. It didn't save. Um, thank you for you guys checking it out that did check it out. Anyways, have a blessed evening. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be on the water all day tomorrow, so I'll be able to fish the full, full tournament tomorrow from 6.30 to 3, which will be nice. And, yeah, that's it. So, anyways, have a blessed night. We'll see you tomorrow.